So guys, do you remember the player Joan Lopez, the walk trail hike that Jay Slater supposedly done and his body was found halfway between it from the beach? These guys, I've just found them, I've been doing a bit of digging. In 2020, they went to this walk and they walked from the road where the Airbnb basically was. Obviously, they've done a little walk up, got to the point where they could hike, walk straight to the beach. And we're going to see a video on here now of the beach. I'm going to cut through most of it anyway and just give you the parts that you want to see. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the stuff. But yeah, let's go. On the island of Tenerife, looking for hidden rural natural beaches that you can't get to by driving. You yeah. have to hike or something. And today we're in the Tino Mountains and well, we're going to player Juan Lopez. Yeah. It's like in the cliffs of Los Gigantes. Next to Masca. Next to Masca. We drove through through Masca, beautiful drive down here. Seen a very nice waterfall as well on the side of the street. Fantastic drive. And we started the hike in a little village called Carrizal. So guys, before we start, obviously I'm gonna put their details. You can go to the video below and watch the full video if you really wanna go through details of it. But I'm just gonna give you the quick tips of it. So we're going to hike down to this beach today. Six, nine to six kilometer, about ten kilometers, yes. and six kilometer climb, uh, six hundred meter climbing. Yeah. It's going to be. Hopefully, it's going to be quite an easy one. We'll let you. So this hike is obviously ten kilometers, which I think it's probably about eight miles long to walk it. They've got two dogs with them, and it's six hundred meters high at its peak, or on a slope. I don't know what they mean by it, but we'll get to the video. So you will see how long it takes them. At the end of the video, you're going to see how long it took them to do this walk. And what they say, guys, wow, it blew my mind. So you can see the peak of the height of where they're walking over. But wait till you hear about what they say about the Barranco when it's time to go down. So they do pass a building like this on the way there. Looks like it's got a few things in it. It must be a hiker's point where people can rest, have some water, have a drink and relax. Maybe get out of the wind. It might be a bit cold sometimes. So I'm guessing this is what they walk past as well. So you can see the undergrowth, that the, the plants are very high. So to walk through here, Now you can see our high point and nearly near the beach now, so they're taking obviously the video all the way around so you can see this. Now Action! Listen. Okay guys, so a little update. We walk from that point there, in this uh, barranco there, in this roof, and then walk all around here. We get lost the first time because it's confusing, still go to the walking around and make their own path and then we are up here looks like we're getting into the path and we're going down to the beach hopefully we are up to a big big cliff i'm a bit scared of the eye hi hi so notice how they've got lost halfway through because the, the the trail paths are different so it's like people have made their own paths in their own way but now listen to what she says now with the heights so she's saying the heights so you can tell she's really scared at this time i'm going to ask that you pass so as you can help. see to get through this it's going to be pretty hard to go up it or down you guys Now they're getting lower to where the place is. Now you can see water, so that means they're getting closer to where they're going to be. It's a lovely guy. So, we have to climb all inside this barranco. Show them. Listen to what they start saying now. Rocks there. 
getting windy, there's just the same probability of rain, and as I'm so lucky in the life, it's gonna rain. So notice, guys, people have been saying on the internet, sleuths, that's what they call them, or armchair detectives. And I'm not debunking anything, I'm not saying anything's wrong or right. But I'm just looking at the probability of things. For people to say someone said, basically, from the beach, Jay Slater could have been taken up these mountains and dumped, whatever, where he was found. Miles in, a few miles in, right? But listen to this, so. We nearly arrived to the beach, apparently. He's a very expert group. And as I told Josh, today I just want to the beach and relax, please. Yes, Betty, I found for you a very easy route. It's a night beach for you, very easy. 10 kilometers maximum. I should have known. Never believe him. So they did say it was a 10 uh, kilometer journey, which is probably about 8 miles, should I say. As you can see, the rockery is pretty wild, to be honest. For one or two people to pick Jay Slater up, take his body further up the mountain, through all this, to dump him further down the mountain. Got to think about this. And there you go. Here's the beach. It does look pretty close and easy. But listen to what you say. Is a secluded beach as you can see no one's there at all. Hey boys, we finally made it to the beach. Yep. We did it. And this is one of the closest, shortest distance So notice oh right, sorry, we'll go back to that now. Shortest distance wise to a secret beach that I could find on the island. So this is the shortest the, the shortest journey they took was this way that they just done and that was a 10 kilometer walk. Plus they said the um, the phone was found on this beach guys. So if the phone was found on this beach and people are saying that obviously Jay was taken from the boat to this part where he may have been took a, took away. So if that was the case and his phone was lost on the beach and found on the beach, let's say, could he have been alive? If the people are saying what they're saying is true, could he have been alive still at this beach and been told to go back this way? So he was actually forced to go back. Maybe he didn't want to get robbed. This is just if people think this. He dropped his phone to make sure he, he wasn't robbed when he went back up the mountain. So to do this hike while you're being carried, I guess it's a, a, a lot of hard work and I guess no one would do it. So to go back up this same mountain or same barranco, you would have to most likely be alive at this point. And obviously when Lucy phoned, it was basically the same time as he supposed to have went missing. But now listen to the next part. But... We took uh, five, hours five hours to do five kilometers. Five hours, yes. Exactly. There is, towards the bottom, once you hit the Branco, there is no trail. You're just rock scrambling. I mean. So, to just do five kilometers, which is basically half the, the time, or the half the kilometers, for say, it took five hours to do that walk. If he did go missing at half eight in the morning, that and he found his way to the beach, Whoever was there or walking, yeah, they may have got the faster journey and they know where to walk, but it's not going to take an hour. Do you get what I'm saying? It's 
going to take a couple of hours to walk that same route anyway. And they walk the shortest trip, they're saying. So you've got to work that. But listen to the rest. I mean, we should know this by now. I mean, we've got enough experience to go into these secret beaches to realise there's never a path. Yeah. But um, we thought today was going to be an easy day, and it definitely wasn't. If you want to. So they said the trek, there's a, there's a path all the way to it. This is what it says online. But when someone does the trek, as you can see, this was in 2020, three years ago. And it seems there's no way of getting to the point from A to B quick. So it was just made up. You have to go down mountains and up mountains when you get to a certain point of the Branco. To come here, expect a long day. Yeah, you're going to get lost. It's gonna be hard, you have to climb, you're gonna lose signal also in your GPS. Like what she said then was obviously you're gonna lose signal on your GPS. So I'm guessing they if they're professional trekkers and hikers, they're gonna have the right gear to make sure they can get out of it. But they said you're gonna lose your signal. Sometimes there are some stones that direct you, but most of the time it's not like this. And remember if you ask her There's also stones that direct you where to go But it's not always the case you see him So I'm just letting you know that Just for anyone with a language barrier Of the higher If you're scared of heights Like me Well yeah, Consider you... that your knee are gonna shake Yeah, there's some. Um, it's a de definitely a dangerous walk It's another dangerous one so these are two people, professional hikers, and she's saying, obviously, she's scared of heights and her legs were shaking. Literally, you're on the verge of maybe blowing off the edges. So I'm guessing the vertical drops were pretty big. So just bear that in mind. You know, um, yeah. But anyway, the plan was to spend a couple hours here, but because it's already three o'clock and it gets dark about 6.30, we have to leave pretty soon and hopefully get back before. Bear in mind guys, they did stop to put the cameras here, there and everywhere. So they might not be perfectly on time and on point with their, you know, the time frame. Because obviously when you're stopping to do a camera shot, obviously I'll put the video in the description so you can watch the full video and get your own ideas from it. But I'm just giving you a little description of what I found. I may upload more videos like this to see what other people do. If you want to see that, make sure you leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe to the channel and we're going to find some information or a lot of information that no other people are doing. Where other people are just regurgitating the information and videos. I'm going to start doing the videos where you want to know. And you want to get into the deep part of the rabbit hole. And I'll leave a little time, a little time stamp here. That's how long it took us to get back to the top and the time we arrived to the top, like I said, it's three o'clock now. So wish us. So guys, basically to get from the beach to the top of the Barranco, where they actually peaked, obviously where the, she said their legs may have been shaking, it took three hours. So I'm gonna leave you with that information. You can all do your information and your, your investigations yourself on that. I'm just giving you a bit of time frames of these are professional hikers though, remember that. Luck. Um yeah, hopefully we make it. Yeah, and hopefully we're gonna make another video soon. See Thanks you. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, they're called outdoor ting. Um, they've not got that many subscribers, but hopefully they may after this. Obviously, I don't know how you, you want to do deal with it, but obviously props where props are due.